Okay, I'm gonna start with my August Lux box. So the first thing in this in the little box was a deluxe size sample of Forbidden Euphoria by Calvin Klein, and that's what it looks like. And that retails for seventy-eight dollars for fifty milliliters, and then one hundred two for a hundred milliliters. The next thing in the box was this really generous size sample of Proclaim Cocoa and Shea Butter Hand and Body Lotion with Aloe Vera. So that's really nice. This retails for $8. And then next is something I was very excited about. This is a product by Pure and it is their 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup in the shade Blush Medium and it's SPF 15. Yes, SPF 15. That's what it looks like. And lastly was a, a little sample of City Lips Collagen Peptide Lip Plumping Treatment. It's just a clear lip gloss. Um, I guess it's a lip gloss. I tried it once. It was a little bit goopy, so I haven't tried it since. But it comes with a little brush tip applicator. And then this month they also sent a little bonus, which I don't have here to show you. But it was by the brand Shayna. S-H-E-Y-N-A and it was a little pair of earrings. I gave them to my sister because I don't have my ears pierced though so I don't have those here to show you. Anyway, so that was my August Lux box. If you watched my July Lux box, I really wasn't impressed, wasn't happy with it. Um, but this month they really stepped it up and I was really impressed. So love everything that I got. Um, okay, now moving on, I'm going to do the makeup first and then at the end I have a few skincare things and fragrances and just random things. So um, I'm going to start with the lip products just because I have like 10 things to show you. First of all, um, from Revlon, I have a super lustrous lipstick in the shade Primrose, which I hear so many girls talk about. And it's this purpley pink lipstick and it's a little bit too, oh, did I just break it? It's melting and um, it's a little bit too purple for me so it doesn't really work out but it is pretty I can see why girls like it so that's that and also from Revlon I have a lip gloss this is pink pop this is really pretty it's really pigmented so that's that on the top I'm gonna have to wipe these swatches off my hand as I go because it keeps getting in my hair um, okay so that was everything from Revlon and then from e.l.f. I ordered stuff a while back while they, while they were having their big sale um, the first lipstick oh by the way this isn't everything that I bought in the past month and a half but I just picked out the things that I did want to show you and had something to say or that I thought were my nose is really itchy that I thought was worth mentioning just because there's a lot of stuff that I bought and I thought you guys might get bored anyway so this is their I believe one dollar lipstick and this is in the shade classy and these are really moisturizing and really glossy um, so that's that oh, on the top that's classy and also from elf I got two of their mineral lipsticks sorry my voice is kind of shaking I think I'm losing my voice um, the first one is Natural Nymph because I bought this because everyone talks about it. Everyone says it's like NARS Belle de Jour. Um, this is definitely more nude than Belle de Jour. You can't even see it there. But this makes me look super dead. So I only wear this on top of really dark lipsticks just to tone them down a little bit. So that's Natural Nymph. And then the next one that I've been loving is this one here. And this is Runway Pink. And this is really, really pity. Pit petty? pretty it's pretty that's that on the bottom okay and then um, oh I guess I'll show you the two lip glosses from elf these are their mineral lip glosses and the first one this is pageant princess and this one is sorority girl they both have shimmer in them and I guess I'll swatch them so that on the bottom is sorority girl and then this is Pageant Princess. It's just a light baby pink. Okay, and then from, I think this is from Marcel. Yes, this is from Marcel. And it's a lipstick in Paris Rose, number 804. It's a really, really pretty bright pink. Oh, I just ruined it. I just got it on the cap. Oops. Anyway, so that's that on the bottom. Amazing. Ooh. Alright, and then I got two Guerlain lipsticks. I decided to splurge just 
because I got paid and then I was like I want lipstick so got two Guerlain lipsticks the first one is what I have on my lips right now and it is the new Rouge Automatic or Rouge Automatique line and this is number 101 and okay how cool is this you just push this thing down and the lipstick pops up like how James Bond is that it's amazing anyway so number 101 I don't know if it has a name I don't I don't think it says it on the bottom no it doesn't these are amazing. They are long wearing, they're very glossy, and they don't dry out your lips. And I, I've just, I've been enjoying it so much. So that's that on the top. The second Guerlain lipstick that I bought is from their Rouge G line. And this is number 65 Grenade. Grenade? I don't know. That's how it's spelled. Anyway, so it has this packaging. And it is so heavy. Like, I don't even carry this around in my purse just because it's so, so heavy. Um... And these are really expensive. They are $50. This one is $40, but um, they're both amazing, so I love them. Anyway, so all you do is you pull this out, and then I don't want to blind you, but as soon as you pull this out, the mirror pops up, so it has a convenient little mirror if you were to carry it around in your purse with you. So there it is. Don't mind my nails. I have to repaint them. Okay. And I tried this on while I was buying it, and it is amazing. It just brightens my entire face. It's not a bright pink, but it's kind of a pinkish raspberry, but it's bright enough to bring some life back to your face, so that's kind of nice. I went to Sephora, and I guess I'll show you this really quickly. I went and picked this up. This was the um, VIB gift if you bought, I don't know, some sort of purchase, maybe $35. So it came with the makeup bag and then inside the makeup bag it had a mini Makeup Forever Lab Shine Star Collection lip gloss and this has a, I guess I'll show you, I don't know if I can really show you this but it has a brush applicator which is nice if you like that. I kind of like the doe foot applicator personally but that's just me so came with that and that's a really light baby pink. Um, it's not that pigmented but it's not sticky at all which is very nice. It also came with a smoky lash and um, an aqua eyes in black and it also came with my favorite finishing powder the makeup forever HD powder so that was the, the makeup bag and then while I was there I picked up the Sephora precision sponge because I saw Emily Clark talking about this and she loved it and she did a demo and I was like wow it must be amazing so ran out got it don't even like it you can see it's dirty I did try it a few times but it just applies my foundation a little bit heavier than I'm used to, so um, so this is a no-go for me, but I will have to try it out a few more times. I just haven't had a day where I can relax and try this out and not have to go anywhere, so that's that. Um, you know, kind of had my hopes up for that, but that's okay. I have a few eyeliners to show you. The first one is from e.l.f., and it's one of their cream liners. This is in the shade Coffee. It's just a nice brown. I'm not going to swatch that because it gets really messy. The first time I opened this up, uh, when I got the package, I dipped my hand in there and I, you know, swatched it on my, I dipped my finger in there and swatched it on my hand. And then somehow I ended up with eyeliner all over my face, all over my legs, and I couldn't get it off. So um, that's the cream liner in coffee. And then also in the shade coffee, I got their mineral eyeliner. And this is a retractable eyeliner. I carry this around in my makeup bag and I, I love this eyeliner. It's quite amazing. So that's that. And then from Lee Swatier, which is a Canadian company, I got an eyeliner in Akaju. I don't know if that's how you say it, but A C A J O U. And it's kind of a dark purple, dark eggplant purple. That's the bottom one right there. Okay. And I got one blush. This is from e.l.f. and it is incredible. If you order anything from e.l.f., make sure you put this blush in your basket because it's just, it's fantastic. It's in the shade Glow, and I don't know if I already said it, but it's a dollar. Looks like that, and it's the perfect shimmery peachy blush. It has gold shimmer in it, and it's just amazing. Yeah, amazing. I hope you guys can see the pretty shimmer in it, and I just, this is so, so flattering on the cheek. It just, it's amazing. I can't say enough about it. So definitely buy this if you're gonna buy anything from e.l.f. Okay. 
I got the, I think I already mentioned this in one of my videos, but I got the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I still prefer the Makeup Forever HD powder over it, but um, that's kind of nice to have. I use it maybe once or twice a week, so that's that. And then also from e.l.f. I got their Complexion Powder, and this I have been liking. It really brightens your face, so I just kind of use it under my eyes and kind of in my t-zone area um, just to brighten up my face a little. I forgot one eye product. Okay, this is from Dior and it is their Quint in number 609, what's this called? Earth Reflection and this is so, so gorgeous. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this but these are the shades that Dior um, little Quint comes with. So that's that. Gorgeous, love it. Okay, I got one Essie nail polish. This is actually from Winners, and it was only $6.99 instead of $9. And this is in the shade Revlon Red. I'm sorry, did I say Revlon Red? Really red, that's what I mean, really red. So that's that. And from Estee Lauder, I got this Idealist Cooling Eye Illuminator. And it looks like that, it comes in a little tube. And it just has a ceramic tip that you place on under your eye and just sort of move in circular motions. I will review this later, but for now, um, I'm not all that impressed, but I will give it a chance and then review it in a few weeks. While I was buying that eye illuminator, the girl was nice enough to give me a few samples of the face product that goes along with that, and this is the Estee Lauder Idealist Even Skin Tone Illuminator. It looks like that. So she gave me a few of those. And then while I was buying the Guerlain lipsticks, the girl was so sweet and she gave me a whole bunch of samples of the um, Super Aqua Serum. I think it's just a, a face serum, looks like that. So she gave me those. And then also gave me a sample of this perfume. I don't know how to say it. Okay, while we're talking about perfumes, I got from Shoppers the little atomizer. And in this I have my D and G3 Limp Limperatrice um, because this doesn't last on me at all so I just put a little bit in the atomizer and then I also got from Sephora the um, the La Vanilla Vanilla Grapefruit scent because I'm almost out of the full size but I thought I would get the little rollerball just because it's a little bit more convenient so got that and oh okay I have one skincare product here. This is the Burt's Bees Natural Anti-Blemish Solutions Daily Moisturizing Lotion with Willow Bark. So that's what that looks like. And I bought this because my face is really breaking out. Um, you can probably see right around here, I break out quite a bit. So I thought I would buy something that was specifically for anti-blemish stuff. And oh, I also bought this ring. This is from H&M and it did come with another smaller ring which it might be in my purse. No, it's not in my purse. Um, anyway, the, the ring came in a pack of two with a smaller one, and I love this. It's so, so gorgeous. Well, that's everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I'm talking so fast, but I really want to go for a walk. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!